What's up, everyone? How you guys doing? Welcome to Motorcycle Madhouse Morning Mayhem. Lots of news happening today. Not only biker news, but news around the country. I had to cover this one. Wait till you see this one video out of Kenosha. People ain't playing around anymore. I think it's over with the partying up there, man. Uh, Kenosha, uh, that's what, about an hour and a half for me. Uh, where I'm at so yeah not too good up there man uh, somebody took it into their own hands uh, groups are forming right now and they're pushing back on this uh, narrative oh boy are they uh, that video I seen that I was like holy crap and that's just one because they were trying to do something at a car dealership that's the video I'm going to show you and then you had a 17 year old with an AR dude just let loose and people are like well, you know, why are you like that? Why are you supporting something like that? Because that's what this country needs. It needs patriots to fight back. And you know what? I cannot believe I'm going to say this. I can't believe. So pinch yourself. This isn't a dream, people. This ain't a dream. I actually watched Chuck Jines. One of his videos that he just did on Kenosha, I was like, damn, man, this dude got it down. And me and Chuck Giants, you know, we didn't mix with the biker stuff. But the guy kind of knows what's going on with his other stuff, man. I really uh, think you should go over there, check him out. Uh, he got real uh, educational with it, man. He didn't get stupid with it. Uh, he really, he did a really good job, and I have to give him freaking credit. I'm one of them guys that give credit when credit's due. So go over there, take a look at it. But he hit, he hit it right on the freaking head with what's going on in this country right now. Uh, I guess they're going to be sending a bunch of National Guard troops up there. And playtime's over again, man. It's over. <laughs> and people, the citizenry is getting sick of it. And everybody's starting to push back. I knew it would happen eventually, but damn man now they're forming the groups and they're shooting back and it's like damn so we're gonna have that video uh also very interesting it pertains to how this all started autopsy report the full one not what the mainstream media wants you to hear but the full autopsy of that george floyd he had enough fentanyl in his system to be lethal. And if anybody's seen that whole tape, he it was already he couldn't breathe. He was asking to get thrown on the you know the ground, all that kind of stuff. Uh, he was pretty lit up. So we're gonna read about that one as well. So sad state of affairs going on in this country. Uh, our main story is gonna be about freaking support gear can you believe it cops are now telling citizens that if you're buying support gear for clubs you're supporting criminal organizations i heard them doing it before and this is mostly happening north of our border in Canada. They got a hard on for the 81 up in Canada, boy. They got a hard on for them. Uh, you know, I'm surprised. I haven't read a lot more stories about it happening in Australia or Europe where, what was it, Denmark, I think, uh, outlawed a couple clubs like the Banditos, the Angels, and a couple other ones. Uh, but now they're going on full force attack. It's like a freaking... Uh, public uh safety announcement or something up there is hey you buy shirts or you buy hats you're supporting a criminal organization so now what they're doing is trying to use propaganda to turn the citizens against the club very important i believe in my opinion for the club to get their side of the story out counteract what these cops are doing in canada because we all know one you know let's take australia for example with their gun rights once you give it to them you don't get it back and they use that to beat you over the head that stick every single time you ever you give the government an inch they're gonna take it 10 miles man 
that's what they do. They love power. Power. That, you know what, if you look at what's going on in the United States, now I don't know how it's going on all over the world, but in the United States, and I can talk about Illinois, their peckers get hard any chance they can get to get a power trip. Shutting down businesses, or you got to wear masks in the name of safety. Man, BS. Enough's enough, like I said on the last segment. And you're seeing people pushing back now. This ain't going to get nice, and this isn't, it's not going anywhere soon. This ain't going to end. After the election or not, it's not going to end. Because if they lose, there'll be a bunch of crybabies and throw a tantrum like they have been for the last four years. It's actually kind of sad. But, hey, they're playing Chicago politics. That's what they do in Chicago. They're a bunch of crybaby whiners. And they'll do anything and everything they have to to keep the power. Now, talking to those in the United States, how does that affect you? Knowing that these people are nothing but power-hungry pricks. And people continue to vote for them. You know, one of the most sacred things in the United States is voting. Even now, they're trying to water that down with their scheme of these mail-in ballots. Now, when I say mail-in ballots, they're not the same as absentee ballots where you got to be verified. That's a, you know what, that's a thing that the mainstream media and them peckers over on the left push. Everybody has a right to vote, yeah, legally. What, you want ballot harvesting like you got going in California where everything can be screwed up? No. No, we don't want that. But the problem with the citizens are they were so bred and raised to where you're either going to vote for this or you're going to vote for that party. They don't sit there and look at what's going on. They don't want new blood. They just vote D all the way down the list or they vote R's. They don't even know who the hell they're voting for. And that's what these idiots in power bank on. They don't want you to be educated. They want you to be ignorant. And we do a disservice to every service member who fought and died for this country by not knowing who you're even voting for. Have you guys even looked at the position of the left? Have you even seen any of the issues that they're trying to do? It's all about taking the freedoms away from you. They don't want you to have guns. Why? Look what's happening right now. Look what's happening right now. You can't fight back against their mobs. So what does this have to do with our segment of Biker News today? All I have to do is say... Look to Canada, what they're doing with simple support wear. They want that power. They want the power to tell you what you can and cannot do. And you, the people, are letting them do it. It's actually pretty sickening. For those that actually follow the news, can you not see how they are trying to manipulate you? Because any person who has any sense can see right through them. It's funny. That idiot Como, I call him homo, came out and said, well, the reason why we didn't fact check the Democrats uh, convention is because we didn't need to. You know what? You're sickening. And you call yourself a journalist? You, you, you idiots at CNN and MSNBC give journalists a bad name but hey everybody's doing it abc cbs and you know what i can't blame you i have to blame the people for not being educated enough to see what's going on there was a video in with uh what was it dc people are having a lunch or dinner whatever you had all these white liberal protesters coming up uh you better raise your fist in solidarity or you're racist 
<laughs> why don't somebody just knock the fuck out of one of these guys <laughs> just do it you know you're gonna see that video of uh later on in the show where people are just plain tired they don't care anymore it's getting on these little uh white little liberal uh pansies they're getting their day in the sun let me tell you that man people aren't going to be putting up for it with it much longer and until it's a full-blown deal you know you got proud boys pushing back in portland uh you got a lot of uh militias starting to step up because people are tired of it uh before we go in the news uh those in texas make sure you are safe that hurricane is not looking good man it's expected to make landfall at a category four surges up to 20 feet nasty business man nasty business so if you guys are down there in texas make sure you uh stay safe prepare yourselves and uh hopefully you guys can ride off the the storm but let's get into the biker news and i got more information on uh, the radio show wake and bay coming up uh, in my final thoughts Man, I've been having headaches with this damn freaking server, but I'll get into that later on the show. Let's go to the Biker News segment now. Here we go, Woodstock Sentinel Review. This is the one I was telling you about. The cops are up there trying to scare the citizens. Buy an outlaw biker gear. Support funds organized crime that's where they're going at here hmm 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 gone are the days when someone wanting to buy hell's angel support gear only had t-shirts hoodies or lighters to choose from now the world's largest outlaw motorcycle gang sells everything from masks hey i sell masks on my site that don't make me a criminal for selling masks Maybe they're trying to keep the neighborhood safe if you look at it that way. Baby onesies to belt buckles and wallets. No harm, no foul right there. But the OPP is warning people to think twice before buying merchandise supporting any outlaw motorcycle gangs. So they're saying this don't just apply to the angels, it applies to everybody they don't like. Saying the proceeds fund organized crime in communities. Hmm. See, there, there's a problem with that. Big problem with that. When there's a clubhouse in a neighborhood, and this is their numbers are there, crime actually goes down. So you make no sense here. Well, we're just reminding the public that when they purchase support where there's a physical risk to them because they're supporting organized crime. What? That's the angle you're going to take here. Detective Staff Sergeant Scott Wade, head of the OPP's Biker Enforcement Unit. You know what's funny? In Australia and Canada, and I don't know about e you know England or Europe or any of that stuff, they always have these Biker Enforcement Units. The Biker Enforcement Unit... One of the Ontario's largest joint force operations is about to roll out its annual campaign to educate the public on the perils of buying biker support gear. Now it's only biker support gear. Wait, wait a second here. Wait, 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 wait. Now are you saying all biker support gear is uh, not healthy for the public? What if it ain't club related? What if it's an RC? What if it's for a benefit? You did not specify that. See, they got a freaking bone to pick with MCs. Now they're spreading it all over the place. Traditionally sold at festivals, motorcycle shops, and via online stores. Well, hell. That means you can't support any of your local businesses. Your biker businesses then. How are you going to educate the public if you don't even know what the hell you're talking about? I do not get it. Launched in 2018, the annual campaign was supposed to kick off before this summer's festival season. 
but large-scale gatherings have been canceled amid the COVID-19 pandemic. That's the only damn thing they got right so far. You know, I haven't been able to cover motorcycle rallies because half of them suck now. Well, the reason we're doing this late this year is because there hasn't been any motorcycle festivals. Ah, it must be a Canadian thing, festivals. That's called a rally. But they want to educate the public. His unit comprises about 50 members from 20 police forces and agencies. The Hells Angels sold swag. Huh? Swag? <laughs> At Port Denver's Friday the 13th gatherings, events that drew as many as 200,000 people to the Lake Erie community until Norfolk Council last year banned issue issuing vendors permits to motorcycle clubs with a criminal history oh we don't like it let's ban it yeah that's the liberal way of doing things outlaw motorcycle gangs have strict rules that only allow members to wear their logos but anyone who uh can support uh or sport the club's gear which traditionally doesn't feature the gang's name or logo Hells Angels support merchandise, for example, features the numbers 81. Well, damn, thanks for that there, bozo, for letting us know. Represent an H, the eighth letter in the alphabet, and A, the first, or the words Big Red Machine. Toronto rapper Drake faced criticism after a photo of him wearing a Hells Angel support hoodie was posted on social media, including a rebuke from the OPP's commissioner. Okay, now you're regulating what people can wear. If they you see a, it posted, you're going to criticize them? Both the Outlaws and the Hells Angels, longtime rivals with a history of violent clashes, have a presence in London. The Hells Angels are considered the dominant club with uh, an estimated 12 uh, full patch holders plus additional members of their uh, support club, the Gatekeepers. So... Again, we'll go into this in my final thoughts. Now, what do we got here? Oh, we got an update about that dealer that was uh, dumped by Harley over that Black Lives Matter post. Let's take a look from Biker Dad, shall we? Facebook that were allegedly made by Russell Abernathy has caused a stir in Union City. I need to speak up and say something when I see stuff like that because, or even see it or hear it because... I need to defend my child. I need to defend the people who don't have a voice. He does a lot of benefits for a lot of people. And we did a crawfish cook a few years ago, me and some buddies, oh, and raised money for St. Jude. And he was one of the guys that stepped in, you know, to really help us out. Abernathy is the owner of this Harley Davidson dealership in Union City. But a close friend says Abernathy's social media account was hacked by an employee. It's not making anybody any better by judging him before they know all the facts. It's probably a disgruntled employee that hacked his password Wouldn't doubt and trying to make him look bad. Ferber says when she saw the post on Facebook, it broke her heart. We all need to stick together and pray and work as a team, not with violence, but with peace. It, race shouldn't be a factor. Terry Crittenden, oh, who says he has known Abernathy way. for many years, describes him as a great man. He really goes above and beyond to help out, and it, he didn't ask us, you know, what color are other people you're helping? You know, how are they black, white? He never said that. He just said, yes, what can I do to help? So as far as the way I know him, he's a good guy. We reached out to Abernathy for an on-camera interview, but he said he was unavailable to do one today. He told us over the phone he did not make the posts and has hired a lawyer to deal with the issue. In Union City, Stephanie Fernandez, WBBJ7 Eyewitness News. All right, uh, right, but he will be operating as a used bike shop, according to the article with Biker Dad. Again, get over there on uh, WKRG under Biker Dad. He, we do a lot of his stories because it's real cool, uh, you know, real good stuff. So, I, you know what? I believe the story. You know what? Uh, anybody can get into an account if you're good enough, you're tech savvy enough. So I can see it, a disgruntled employee. Now, we're going to go into, again, uh, it is that, WKRG. Let's uh, fast forward it here. I think it's little. really important because this place has been in business for a long time. It's a family-owned business, been there. I can't even remember. I can't tell you how long it's been for, but we are 
here just to give them some support. We'll have some pizza, enjoy, and uh, show them that uh, we will come to their place. And uh, this story has to do with a patriotic mission is what some bikers are calling their show of support uh, for President Trump. They met at Valley Auto Parts in Old Forge and rode. Now the latest Hold on, let me turn this off. Pe My both. Uh, to the famous Old Forge pizza spot, uh, Arcaro Ar and Janelle. They say that since the president came and visited uh, the pizza place yesterday, there have been some bad reviews and people harassing the business. Quote, I think it's really important. This place has been in business for a long time. It's family owned. I can't even tell you how long it's been here. Uh, we are here to give our support, have some pizza, and show that we uh, come to support their place. So bikers uh, for Trump were out there making sure they show uh, some solidarity with that business. That's what them idiots always do. They don't like something, they jump on the internet, start posting reviews to try to make a business look bad. Uh, no! Interesting! Fox 9 KMSP. Uh, core filings here. Medical examiner thought George Floyd had fatal level, and that's in a quote, a fentanyl in his system. Ooh, the plot thickens, baby. New exhibits filed in the case against the former, uh, or the four former police uh, officers accused of murdering George Floyd suggest uh, Hennepin uh, County Medical Examiner thought George Floyd's fentanyl levels were at a potentially fatal level, but his and other medical examiner's findings showed he died of a combination of factors. Six pieces of evidence were filed in the case Tuesday, one day after former officer Tao Thao's uh, attorneys requested the release of the full autopsy reports. The Armed Forces Medical Examiner filed a memorandum agreeing with the Hennepin County Medical Examiner's final conclusion that Floyd's death was a homicide, saying... His death was caused by the police subdue and restraint in the setting of severe hypertensive aesclerosis, uh, cardiovascular disease, and methamphetamine and fentanyl intoxication. Hmm. You know what? I'm one that usually don't try to support cops. Especially when a cop's got a hater page on me. Yes, I heard from a subscriber, the guy who's running the hater page is a damn Leo. Can you believe that? Can it, You know what? At least somebody freaking be, you know, how can I say this? You know, do something, you know, unique. It has to be a damn Leo that does the hater page. And here I was all excited. Anyway, they're putting it in there because it started riots. And I guarantee you it's going to happen again because how can you convict them? I can't believe I'm saying this. How can you convict them when it has methamphetamines and fentanyl intoxication? And if you actually watch the whole damn video, yeah, there's no way. However, two other memos filed Tuesday from the Hennepin County Attorney's offices about conversations with the chief medical examiner paint a different picture about the nature of Floyd's death. In one memorandum filed May 26 after a virtual meeting with Baker, the attorney's office said Baker concluded the autopsy revealed no physical evidence, no physical evidence suggesting that Mr. Floyd died of a, uh, a sophistication. Try to say that one. <laughs> you know what? I got this damn Chicago accent that I try to pin down because it gets loud, if you know what I mean. And some words you just can't do it. Baker uh, told the attorney his investigation was incomplete, pending a toxicology report. The other uh, memorandum filed June 1st by the Attorney General's office indicated Baker said Floyd's level of fentanyl was pretty high and potentially a fatal level. Dr. Andrew Baker said that if Floyd had been found dead in his home or anywhere else and there were uh, no other contributing factors, he would conclude that it was an overdose death. Ouch. Ouch. Your case is falling apart now. All these riots, all this and that for... Yeah, 
Mm -hmm. Among the uh, new documents was a memorandum outlining the findings from the independent medical examiners hired by the Floyd uh, family. Of course, they're paying him, so they're going to say what he needs. Uh, the memo admits the findings could be incomplete because they were uh, awaiting microscopic uh, slides, pictures, and other evidence. That's why you don't hear about him anymore. Not good. Not good. Anyway, Corey Graff's Wall of Shame, Weatherford Democrat. Ugh, I wouldn't read the paper. Middle of Wells police officer arrested on sex crime and uh, here we go again with this. Uh, charges involving female inmate. Mineral Wells police officer Israel Gonzalez, 49, was arrested by the Texas Rangers Monday on the sex crime charges involving a female inmate. Texas Rangers, man, they got a good baseball team. Not so good lately, but. The investigation is ongoing, uh, the Chief Dean Sullivan said in an email. Gonzalez, who has been with the uh, MWPD since uh, February 2014, was arrested on charges of violations of the civil rights of a person in custody, improper sexual activity with a person in custody or supervision, and sexual assault. Uh, Sullivan said Gonzalez was assigned a patrol operation, quote, Gonzalez arrest followed an investigation by the Texas Rangers in response to an outcry made by an inmate at the Palo Pinto County Jail. Gonzalez's employment at the department has been terminated. Sullivan confirmed the inmate was a female. It's pretty bad. You got to confirm it was a female or male. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Texas Department of Public Safety Sergeant Richard Hunter. The investigation was done by request of the MWPD, and as a result, Gonzalez was arrested and booked into the Palo Pinto County Jail. The investigation is ongoing, and no additional information is available. He's being uh, held on 225000 but was able to bond out. So... Officer Israel Gonzalez, you're in the wall of shame, buddy. Let's go to one more. Uh, Lima, Ohio. Former Lima police officer arrested again. Again. Hmm. A former uh, Lima police officer was arrested last week for the second time this year after he allegedly fired shots from a handgun into the air and kept his wife and children from leaving their property. Christopher Lechmecki, 33, was taken into custody on August 20th and was booked into the Allen County Jail on one count of abduction. The investigation is ongoing. Deputies uh, from the Allen County Sheriff's Office were dispatched to 5525 St. John's Road in reference to a menacing complaint on the 17th. Dispatcher advised deputies that a male subject, later identified as Lamecki, was in possession of a handgun and had fired shots into the air. Upon their arrival, deputies were given conflicting statements. Lamecki's wife was able to leave the residence after deputies arrived and report was forwarded to the Allen County Sheriff's Office. He was fired from the Lima Police Department earlier this year following his indictment by the grand jury on charges related to the illegal use of a government database. Well, this guy smoked. <laughs> anyway, let's go to this one tweet, and hopefully it shows up on the video uh, part. Rider who attempted to burn down a car dealership was shot in the head by armed civilians protecting the business. Let's look. Oh, it's working. Here we go. Ooh, there's the shots. Get a light! Get no. a fucking light! Put pressure on it! Put fucking where? pressure on it! Where? Where, dude? Around. Where? Where's the hole? Wait, where are you at? Where? He's right here in his head, in his head! Oh, Come on! Head. Put pressure, put pressure, put oh, pressure! Cops. 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 They want to call the cops. Hey, keep your eyes open, keep your eyes open. Police. You shot him! I didn't hurt him! You're okay, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Talk to him, talk to him. Dude, that's not gonna shit, keep pressure on this shit. Yeah, but you gotta keep him alive. I got brother, I got him. Ouch! You notice they were saying, call the cops, call the cops while they're writing? 
bad state of affairs. Which one is it? You want to defund them or you want to call them? My final thought. We're here from Beggar Syndicate Cycles. Just to let you know about the place that has the craziest hats on the market. Apparel that's based all upon bikers, baggers, and brotherhood. And ladies, we didn't forget about you either. Between tank tops and baby doll tees, we have it all. Now just go to BaggerSyndicateCycles.com and check it out. Mwah. Okay, my final thoughts are coming up, baby. Don't forget to go over to BaggerSyndicateCycle.com, man. They got some awesome stuff. They got all the hats like the ones I'm wearing right now and the ones behind me. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Support your local biker business, I always say. Always say. And by the way, people have been asking me how they can get uh, some advertisement on the shows. You have to be a biker-owned business. And I don't charge an arm and a leg. I don't. You know, I think it's like freaking $25 a month or something over on HarleyLiberty.com. Who knows? But if you got a biker-owned business and you like to advertise on the show, go ahead and info at InsaneThrottleBikerNews.com. Also, you can call, leave a message on 847-957-1686, the studio hotline, and I'll get back to you with it. So, for the news, what a news day, isn't it, man? What a news day. I know some politics got in its way. Uh, you know, the Wake and Bake show, it's going to be everything. Everything. Not only biker stuff, man, but we're going to have some fun for 20 reviews. Smoking a little bit. Wake and Bake. Watch Hollywood all high and stuff doing his show. Now, I got one problem, though, that's going on here. I am trying to get this radio station hooked up, ready to go. Problem is, I don't know what the hell's going on with their servers, but I can't upload, you know, because I was doing some test runs with some replays. And you can only upload a 15-minute show. And here I'm thinking, okay, Wake and Bake could be probably an hour, two-hour show. You know, a lot of decent music in there and stuff. But it won't upload. Then I come to find out, they're only giving you bandwidth for like 1,500 listener hours. Like, what kind of crap is this? So, I am exploring different platforms to put the radio station on because it's like, man, you pay all that money for licensing and all that stuff, and these, this one platform that I chose, I thought it was awesome, all that good stuff. Next thing you know, you can't upload the shows. You, you only want music on there. What's wrong with you people? 15 minutes. So the Wake and Bake show, I'm thinking about going ahead and starting up and putting it on Spotify, iTunes, all the big what we're on now, and then trying to figure out the radio platform. And I know Corey's going to want to do a show, so he might piggyback off the Wake and Bake show on Spotify and stuff. Uh, why we... Uh, fix all that radio crap so that's just news there and uh another thing i mentioned you know i got this real interesting email from uh, a subscriber i guess they've been looking into this hater page that me and black dragon had mostly me he don't like me too much because i'm an asshole to him uh but i guess he's a leo this is what the guy said now i don't claim anybody's a leo until i actually see it but i guess the guy won't show his face and stuff uh but i'm just saying you know at least come up with something better than that leos you know do something better get unique man make me inter get entertained by you bashing me it's no fun right now <laughs> anyway do you see how the damn cops work it now it's a propaganda game one that mcs should get into man use the propaganda against them throw it right back in their faces they won't like it enough of letting these police roll right over you man what they're trying to do is change the hearts and minds of the citizens who sit on the jury and elect the representatives that make the law so not only do they got the public thinking you're a criminal organization but they got them to where don't vote guilty it's a real real how can i say it high wire act that they're playing and i think clubs should go up on that high wire and just push them right overboard what do you guys think they say that you are supporting up in canada now 
and I wouldn't doubt him saying it in the United States, that you are supporting a criminal organization if you buy support wear. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, as far as that thing in Hart with the Harley Davidson cutting that guy out, now the back end story is he supported the Confederate flag and he got into it with Harley Davidson over that. It's funny. Harley Davidson made all their money on an outlaw image. But it depends on which way the wind blows with Harley Davidson. Now the Confederate flag is out, they're against it. This guy supposedly made a post on his Facebook saying he don't like Black Lives Matter. Nay, I don't either, man. <laughs> I can't stand them. I can't stand Antifa. I can't stand any of them leftists. Everybody knows that. Uh, you know, I even got people that, you know, they like the show, then they hate me because of my political views. Well, you know, that's... Get your own radio station, then, is what I could tell you. <laughs> but, you know, they took away the dealership, and I, I don't know who else did. There was another manufacturer that did. Uh, so now he's operating it as a used bike shop. I, I think you stick with that, man. Go use, go get some maybe Kawasaki, some Zukis in there, and leave Harley in the dust. Because God knows they want to leave all us in the dust with their new rewire plan. <laughs> uh, Harley Davidson let me tell you did you hear and I'm going to be talking about this on tomorrow's segment that the Bronx Street Fighter they don't, they're not going to bring out now they're shelving it in uh, what is it till 2021 or it might not come out at all I guess it don't you know raise the money like the CVO markets and uh, what this new CEO thing is going to happen with them uh, other than that what do you guys think about the Floyd uh, the Floyd uh autopsy showing fentanyl levels that was going to kill him anyway he's going to be overdosing anyway you know it seems like you know they're trying to walk that political high wire act type of deal saying well this could have they're not going to convict these guys there's no damn way not if anybody has any common sense to listen to the evidence the dude was that's why you don't hear about him in the freaking news anymore all this stuff is coming out and just like this stuff up in kenosha Dude had a felony warrant for something sexual, man. They were there to bust his ass. Then he had a knife in his hand. Then he went to the car, reached in the car. Well, the guy's got a felony warrant on him. Uh, he's up to no good. What do you think's going to happen to you? Idiot. Morons. Uh, but like I said, in Kenosha, they ain't playing around anymore, man. Mm -mm. You seen that video uh, from the Twitter feed? Popped right in the freaking head. <laughs> People are getting sick of this stuff. And then the, you got that 17-year-old uh, that went AR on everybody. <laughs> he just started popping them, man. And I don't think they're going to get him for murder because one of the pictures shows one of the guys had a handgun. Self-defense. Now, they might get him on gun charges because he had an AR at 17 years old. Uh, but I can't see him getting uh, murder charges because he was arrested and there's already a GoFundMe page. Go look at it, man. Go fund. Get this kid out of there. Uh, he did what was right. You know, most 17-year-olds I know wouldn't have. Uh, but he stood his ground and he got beat up with a skateboard. Next thing you know, start popping him. That's the way it works. Got to start fighting back is what I say. <laughs> anyway, uh, I will be giving you more information on the radio. I promise. As soon as I figure it out, man. You know what? I never thought it would be this damn hard to get the programming done. You know, the software is real easy, but it's getting around all their BS that sucks. So I'm going to be putting that on Spotify and iTunes and all that stuff. I think I'll put the Wake and Bake trial on uh, for next week, man. We'll see how it goes. This is going to be releasing at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning like it always does. So maybe I'll put it out at 11 or something. Or maybe call it, uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, but anyway, until then, we'll talk to you guys later. You have a good one. Be safe out there. So you want to know how to support the show? Go over to our support store and get some awesome looking clothing. We got rock on hats, rock on shirts. The rock on hats are embroidered. Get your exclusive merchandise now.
rock on. Don't forget to go over to HarleyLiberty.com. Get all your motorcycle club news. What's happening in the scene? We have a new article or articles every single day over at HarleyLiberty.com. And don't forget the sister site, BikerLifestyleMagazine.com. If you're into all that kind of manufacturer motorcycling news, motorcycle rallies and bikers helping the community motorcycle club editorials and more and don't forget to visit us on facebook get involved in the conversation watch videos done a motorcycle madhouse and more also we have instagram yes instagram we have material that is not seen anywhere else so don't forget get on our platforms check out your daily biker news rock on Hey guys, this is Kara from Bagger Syndicate Cycles. I just want to let you know about a place where you can get the greatest apparel, top of the notch, all about baggers, bikers, and brotherhood. And ladies, don't you worry, we didn't forget about you. Check it out at BaggerSyndicateCycles.com. Your show is now available on Spotify and all major platforms, including iHeartRadio, iTunes, Stitcher, and more. Don't forget to become a subscriber on any one of these platforms so you can be notified right away when our weekly episode is uploaded so you never miss an episode. Hi, this is James Hollywood Machikari. Join our YouTube channel and get Motorcycle Madhouse and tons of videos related to the bikers. Join now by subscribing for free and become part of the crowd today. Always free and always entertaining. Don't forget to visit us at www.harleyliberty.com for your daily biker news. Rock on!